to draw this adorable little Frenchie? Then get yourself something to draw with, something to erase any mistakes, and a marker to outline your doodle. Grab some paper and something to color with, and let's get started! started on drawing an adorable little French bulldog. So we had quite a few requests to doodle a little French bulldog. So we're going to go ahead and draw him today. So I'm going to start by going around the middle of my paper here and I'm going to create a curved line that comes down. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go from that kind of dot that I just created and I'm going to curve and down. And I want to make sure that my lines end in the same spot. So this would be his head curving down and I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to add in his ears. So I'm going to kind of make, I don't really know what kind of shape, but I'm going to make a nice big curve out and then kind of wiggle down. So on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of curve out and then I'm going to kind of curve, wiggle down. Probably hear my son singing in the background. He's loving life today. And then I'm going to create some lines from this outside part down. So that way I can make that like pinkish color inside of his ears and keep his fur color on the outside. So now I'm gonna come out here where his cheeks are and he is going to be holding something in his mouth. So I just wanna create a slight little poof here for a cheeks. And that is all I'm going to do. I want to leave a pretty good space down here because I want to draw that part of his face that is kind of a different color, his like muzzle area. Where my indents are right here, I'm going to find the middle. And I'm going to create a rounded triangular nose. So I'm going to give him that rounded triangular nose. I am going to color that in black with my marker. And then I am going to come straight down until I'm about even with these lines on the on both sides. And this is just going to be that split kind of right down where his nose is so that way he's got like his mouth part on each side. So this is where it ends. This kind of meets up with those lines. And then I'm going to finish my drawing. So I'm going to come up above his nose and I'm going to create a curve, kind of for that squished face skin that he's going to have. So there, I want to kind of make them even on both sides. And then I'm going to curl out and match up with that line out there. So I'm going to curl in a little bit and then I'm going to go out and match up with my outside line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my paper upside down and I'm going to go from this dot out here by just making a nice curve. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, just curve out and up, finishing off his little mouth. And I do want it to kind of have a weird, almost flat look to this part here. It's not droopy like it would be if I was just drawing him. Remember, he's gonna have something in his mouth, so I kinda of want this area to be a little flat or almost like he's he's got something in his mouth so that's why I've created it that way now I'm going to go above his nose and I'm going to do just one little curved line just to help show that squished face that he has and on each side in this little indent area that is where I'm going to draw on his eyes so you can go ahead and give him his nice oval eyes and then I'm going to do my big circle on top of my little circle or oval and then I'm going to color that in. That way he's got his little shine in his eyes. Gives him a little life. It makes him have that kind of sweet little look to him. And if I wanted to make him a little girl, I could go ahead and give him two eyelashes. If I wanted to leave him a boy, I could leave him a boy. You could also add a bow or add any sort of decorations up there. I am going to add a couple dots. So I'm going to do three. 
for where his whiskers would be coming off. Now I'm gonna add in what he has in his mouth. So this is up to you, you can change this. Make it a dog bone. But since we seem to have a heart in almost all of our doodles, we are going to, I am going to give him a little heart. And so I'm gonna draw this chunk of the heart is underneath his mouth, so it looks like it is actually in his mouth. And I'm gonna come down on each side with a curved line. And this side is covered by the heart, so I'm gonna come past the heart and create my curved line. And then on the inside here, I'm gonna do that same curved line for the inside part of his paw. And I am leaving just maybe a half an inch of space here at the bottom. To connect that and finish this paw, I'm gonna create those U's that are gonna come around. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. A U, a U, and then this one's almost gonna kind of be a C and curve back around. And then I'm gonna do a curved line here underneath between the two to be where he is sitting on the ground. So we've got his front legs, we are missing back legs. So I'm going to come down with some curved lines on each side. And again, on this other side, his heart is kind of covering up part of that area. So you just go past it. And then I'm gonna finish off with his back feet. And I'm just gonna do one curve and another curve. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, one curve give it another curve and flatten it out. And then I think my little Frenchie needs a tail, so I'm gonna add just a small tail here in the background. And you can add whatever you want to your little dog to make it your own. Maybe she's got some drool on that little heart. Actually, I might draw a little drool on her heart. Maybe she's just been slobbering me as her favorite toy. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in and add a horizon line just so I can add some sort of a background to my picture to help plant her on the ground. And maybe your Frenchie has like a little patch here of different colored fur. I do not know, I don't have a Frenchie, but it is your dog and you can decorate it however you would like. So if you drew your dog in pencil, this would be a great time to go ahead and grab your marker and get it outlined. And then I'm going to use my twistable, my Crayola twistable crayons to color in my little doggy. So I am going to start first in the ear area here. So I'm gonna come in here with this light peach and color just a little bit and I am going to use all sorts of colors. And you can decide exactly how you want to color your dog Maybe he is a pink dog, maybe he is a rainbow dog. Who knows, it is entirely up to you. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna speed this up and you can color while I am coloring and then check back in at the very end of this video for how he is going to look. Look at how cute our little baby dog turned out. I think that he is a very cute little Frenchie and I don't really know what a Frenchie looks like, but I think he's a cute one. I did color the drool area a little darker. You could also make it blue, but I figured his drool's probably clear. It's just gonna make that heart look a little bit darker. I didn't add as many shadows just because he was already kind of dark, but however you chose to color yours, I can't wait to see. I hope that he turned out great and I hope you had fun with today's lesson. Please like and subscribe to the video so that you can see more amazing doodles. Check back later and have a great day.